They said it's okay, but I'm afraid it's not really going to be that easy. Oh, you told him Andrews. Hey, who's taking my name in vain? Hi, Anna. Anna said everything. How about Stan? Oh, he says not to worry about a thing. Well, I do. I do a lot of worrying. Hey, listen, he's never failed to deliver before. How did you cover? No problem. Lorna's has cleared everything. Are you nervous? Not exactly. Not exactly not. <laughs> You'll be fine, really. Hi. Hi. We're cutting biology. What can I teach you guys about biology? Really, we have our own little advanced course going. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you my notes, Lorna, and you'll get straight A's. I think I'll cut, too. It's too nice a day. Oh, listen, I can't. I gotta go to English Lit after what I did on that last final. Well, if you'd rather have Lit than Life, that's your hang-up. Can Mitch get the car? Oh, I, I really don't know. I haven't talked to Mitch yet. Well, there he is. <laughs> you get wheels? Yeah, I think so. I might have to wait till after my mother does the shopping, though. No matter what you try to do, your parents always hang you up. It'll be all right, even if I do have to carry the packages in. Well, that always impresses him, you know. At last, he's thinking of someone else. Oh, listen, you guys, I've got to go to class. Hey, that's a wild chick. You keep your eyes, you know, where? Looking, not touching. That's Mitch's department. His garden of love, and the luscious fruit is ripe. All he has to do is shake the tree. <laughs> My eyes are only for you. My mother was right. She said men only wanted one thing from a girl. Right on. You know, she used to make me wear heavy dresses because men have dirty eyes. Wasn't that the second veil? Was it, Mrs. Rhodes? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Jack was helping me with my algebra, and we got so involved with this problem that, well, we must not have heard it. Come on, we're going to be late. So long. Right. Are you going to be able to make it? Oh, we better go. Are you? Yes. Insight, stories of spiritual conflict in the 20th century. All too often in the last few centuries, man's religious needs and his sexual ones have been treated as enemies of one another. Too many religious people have looked upon sex as dirty, ugly, and sinful. And too many people seeing the importance of human sexuality have tended to ridicule man's search for God. Both are tragic and destructive errors. Authentic religion can only affirm the beauty of human sexuality. After all, it is God-given. It's part of the human personality. We can approach God through it, and we cannot grow to full human maturity without dealing with it. And any authentic appreciation of human sexuality must also recognize its limitations. Sex can take us toward perfect fulfillment, but it cannot deliver it. Only God can do that. The sexual act is a unique and privileged symbol between two human beings. To be honest, they must mean what that act says. What is that? What is required before the sexual act becomes honest? property and no one comes aboard without my permission. I heard that. Well, in your case, I might make an exception. You might? Huh? Mm. Uh. Hey, not now. We're saving that action for later, remember? Oh. oh wait. Hey, wow. We brought records. Uh, hey, uh, listen, guys. You know, like my uncle said, there were just two things he cared about. One is, you know, we don't blast the neighbors off the beach. I mean, noise is all right, but keep it down. And we all know what the second thing is. The bedrooms are off limits. Oh, the bedrooms are fine. He couldn't care less. Uh, but he's got to think about that record collection. You know, we can play ours, we just don't touch his. Those are the only no-nos. That's all he said, Julie. Wow, I dig your uncle. When can I meet him? Sex fiend. How do you know? Get our records.
Someday I'm gonna have a place like this. Well, my folks used to have a bungalow. It was down there about a half a mile. We used to spend every summer there. You know, I wish we still had it. Well, what does it matter? We've got this now. Uh, speaking of your parents, what'd you tell them? Oh, that Abby invited me to spend the weekend with her. Won't they check? No, they trust me. Well, I guess they don't know me as well as they think they do. You know, Lona, I've been thinking about this weekend for three months. Catch the scene. Uh, looks like old Mitch is finally going to get lucky. Hey, Lorna, you got a minute? I need you. Right now? Yeah, come on. All systems go, Mitch. Is there any other way? Got to preserve the old reputation. You guys certainly like to blow your horns. No, I'm just expressing an opinion. Does that bug you? What do you want, Julie? Well, I thought you and I ought to check out the setup, you know? That must be the guest room. Oh, wow. Now this is more like it. You know, I really would dig meeting Stan's uncle. Oh, yeah, so would I. Really, Lorna? Oh, yeah, I bet he's a real swinging guy. Well, Mitch is a swinging guy, too. How come he just turned him off? Look, I didn't turn him off. Well, look that way to me. Julie, maybe you don't mind being a public spectacle, but I do. Hey, don't get uptight, man. I'm trying to help. I know this is your first time, and I remember what that was like for me. I'm really nervous. Look, all you have to do is relax and go with it. You've got it all together. You've got a guy you dig with experience, this fantastic pad, the ocean, the whole thing. I know, I know. Lorna, it's like breathing. Don't make it such a big deal. Just set your mind to it. You're going to do it. I'm going to do it. about it, I get the feeling maybe you'd like to go back. What, to Albany? Mm -hmm. Oh, no way. <laughs> Don't you miss it at all? No. No, I miss some of my friends. After all, I spent, what, 17 years with them, you know? But uh, I can live without that lousy weather. Really? I love snow. 
You love it because you've never been in it. Well, sure I have. Both my mom and dad are ski nuts. We go up to Mammoth three or four times a year. You're talking about a few weekends. I mean, six months out of 12. It's cold and miserable and gray. And, oh, no thank you. What about that girl? Don't you miss her at all? What girl? There wasn't any one girl. I moved around a lot, you know? But what about Patty? Oh, she was just another chick. But you told me you were going steady with her. Well, maybe I was. I don't know. I don't remember. Besides, now you're my girl. You keep saying that. Well, you haven't seen me with anybody else, have you? Mitch, why do you like me? You got the craziest bod in town. No, I mean for real. I mean that for Come real. Come on, you know what I mean. Were well, you gonna get heavy about this? That's up to you. Well, I meant what I said at first. I think you're physically beautiful. Uh, beyond that, well, we think alike, you know? We communicate. We both like the same sounds. And I don't mean just music, but we both read uh, Tom Wolfe. Remember? And Vonnegut. And uh, we're both into the ecology thing, you are. And uh, I don't know what it is. That's it. Be in a hurry tonight, okay, Mitch? I promise. Well, you're probably gonna laugh at me, but I've been shaking a week. I won't laugh at you. You're sweet. So are you. Well, I'm glad I'm here with you. Yeah, I was beginning to wonder about well, that. Really, I am. Well, don't worry about it, all right? We'll just take as much time as you want to take. You know, the problem with me is, well, I've just been making too much of this, right? I'm, I'm sure it's just like breathing. That's right. That's all. It's about time you two go back. Yeah, well, you know, we walked all the way down to the pier. Yeah, we looked at it, turned around, and came back. Hey, Jack, give you guys permission to use his yacht? I don't think Jack really cares. You mean... What else? I don't know about these kids these days. I know they're sick, all of them, aren't they? Hey, don't I get one? We're sure off to a great start. Stan, you've known me for a year. I think it's time you knew that I don't like to walk. Well, if I remember right, you used to dig it. Look, why don't you just level with me, Abby? About what? You know what. Who is it? Oh, come on. Damn it, who is it? Could I get by, please? I mean, look, we're playing these dumb games. You sound like our parents. Can I just get by? It's Bill Rennick, isn't it? When I was working on the car yesterday afternoon, I saw that you were in Hobie's with him. Oh. And you were sitting in the last booth. Big deal. We had a cup of coffee. Yeah. On the way to what? Listen, I sat in a booth with a guy, we talked for half an hour, and then we split. Now, what's there to get so uptight about? Because this isn't the first time. Oh, look, if I can't sit and talk to a guy for half an hour without you getting uptight, why are you making this such a heavy relationship? Maybe we just better call it quits right now. Sorry to break in, guys, but Jack is starved. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry myself. Did I walk in on something? No, you came just the right time. Another minute, and I would have blown the whole thing. Well, can't you guys cool it till the weekend's over? Stan's able to throw us all out. He knows about Bill. He knows, or he's just guessing? He knows. Well, do you care? Not really. I just wish I could have let him down a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. What's with Stan? Nothing. It's just that 
We never should have started. We didn't have very much going for us in the first place. Oh, come on. You two are the hottest things around. Yeah, well, we're not anymore. I, I just, uh, I'm just bored with him. Well, when you groove, you groove. When you don't, you move on. Not anymore. Not me. Oh, yeah? What about Bill? Oh, well, now that's different. Bill, well, that's going to be a real commitment. Bill's the kind of guy I could marry. Now, you don't have to say that just because Lorna's here. I'm not saying it because of Lorna. I'm saying it because I believe it. Uh, to each his own. You got any mustard? Here it is. Thanks. How's things going with Mitch? Oh, everything's all right, I guess, so far. Are you going to go through with it? You better believe she is. Why don't you just keep out of it and let her make her own decision? She's made it, haven't you? I'm here, aren't I? You know what I ought to do? I ought to kick her out of here and get somebody else. Like who? Like Sherry. I could call Sherry or Marilyn. You couldn't spring either one of them. Yeah, Sherry'd come. What would you tell her parents? That she's going to the beach to groove for the weekend? That's right. He's right, Stan. She doesn't have time to set it up. So where does that leave me, then? While you guys are scoring, what am I supposed to do? Walk up and down the beach and collect driftwood? You just relax. She'll come around. Listen, after dinner, we'll break out the grass and get it all going. Oh, we'll break out some grass and get it all Stan, going. don't worry about it. It'll work out. And that's all that matters, that it works this weekend. Come Monday, let her go trip with Bill Rennick. What do you care? Hey, you know, Abby and I have been going together for a year. So? So wait till Julie gives you the shaft. Anytime she wants to, it's OK with me. It's the only attitude to have. The mistake you made was getting hung up. Yeah, don't kid yourself. So are you. Let me give you my philosophy about the way it is. You don't get hung up with a chick even if you want to, when you don't know where you're going, or even how you're going to get there. coming on? Wasn't that the general idea? No, I don't know. You'd have to ask Mitch. You don't have to ask Mitch. You don't have to ask Mitch either. We all know why we're here. It was a little setup, right? To get Lorna initiated. Well, it's about time, isn't it? Who decides that? Look, no one is twisting her arm. She's 18 years old and she has a mind of her own. She can do whatever she wants to. Look, she's being pressured. She's got a groove because it's a bummer not to. I think it's cruel. And it happens all the time. Let's keep it going. All right. Mitch, why don't you try and get him to come back down here? Uh, I don't think it'd help. I don't think they're going to work it out. Oh, no, I wish they would. Why? What is the matter? I don't know. It just seems like such a waste. You just can't leave me alone, can you? Oh, you're irresistible. You still scared? Something. Your face just knocks me out. You know, that's exactly what my father said to my mother. The same words. You know, that's really wild. That's exactly what he said to him. Well, he was in the army and, and they met on a bus. He had just come back. He was wounded, but not really bad. He just, we had a little limp. Uh, anyway, my mother took him home to dinner that same night. And, uh, folks are really uptight about it. They really were because, well, you know, he, he didn't have a job and, well, he was going to college on the GI Bill. You know, later, when she said that she wanted to marry him, all her folks got really upset about it. 
Well, they thought maybe he should wait, you know, and finish school and prove himself and all that. But my mother said, she said that that wouldn't be love, that that would be a business deal. So she married him. And I think they're just about the happiest couple I know. Yeah. I wanted, that was a different world. want from me? Nothing! You got it, baby. I mean, who needs any of this? Just one bar. Go on, Jack. Just let him go. I could really care less. I mean, if that's the way he wants it, then that's just fine with me. He's always got to make a big scene out of everything. Wreck everybody else's weekend as well. Hey, there's no stopping him. He just took off. Do you think he'll come back? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I didn't know any other way to do it. Always a, a mess. You can't do it without hurting somebody. <laughs> There's no way. Do you want to take my car and go after him? Uh-uh, what's the use? I mean, the whole thing is over. Abby, you want me and Mitch to take you home? Uh, no, uh, Julie and me will do it. Uh, yeah, we were going to go for a ride anyway. I don't want to wreck your fun, too. Hey. We're friends, aren't we? What's the difference? <laughs> Come on. Let's go. We're off. Later, guys. What happened? I don't know. Mitch, maybe, maybe we should live, too. What? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we just should. Why? We've got the whole house to ourselves. I know, but it, it's different now. Well, nothing's changed between us. I still feel the same way. Don't you? hands off of you. We did it your way. What are you doing? We're here because we both wanted the same thing. At least you said you did. And now just when we get things going, you're going to back off. I think that's pretty cheap. Mitch, you're the one that's making it cheap. The way you think of me, I'm just a body. Maybe you've forgotten, Mitch, but I'm a person. Well, let me tell you something. I'm a man. I'm physical. I have needs, you know. And I suppose you think that girls don't have needs, Well, you too. act like you do. Mitch, when I give myself, I want it to mean oh. something. I think maybe you just hung up. Well, I happen to think that I'm special. You know, and I really thought that you did too, but you don't. The only thing that you want to do is take. All you care about is, is scoring. You know, I really thought you liked me, but you don't. And I feel shabby. And I felt shabby from the minute I got here. I don't know. I really thought it would be different, Mitch, but... I was really wrong. Remember you, uh, you said you were scared all week that I was going to laugh at you? Well, 
now you're gonna laugh at me. You know why? Because I just act like a big operator. I'm not. I'm just like you. You mean you've never been with a girl? Nope. Thank you for telling me. You see, the truth is I was afraid the guys would put me down if they knew. Oh, they would. But I respect you for it, Mitch. You see, they make you feel like a freak, you know? They really do. You know the way it should be? It should be something beautiful. It shouldn't be something that's forced on you just because, because you reach a certain age or because your friends think it's time. It should be yours to do, only yours. You should know where you are. Well, and you should know who you are, too. And... Well, I just really don't think I know that yet. And until I do, I don't see how I can make an honest commitment to you or to anybody. I would like to keep seeing you. I'd like that, too. Are you in a hurry to get home? No. Would you like to take a walk to the pier? Insight is a production of the Paulist Fathers, a group of Catholic priests who serve their God by serving those outside their church.